Hi, I'm Lanre Jai, your host of Mercedes Speaks to Me, the Calgary edition. In celebration of our Border Culture Days, it's an honor for me to have two amazing individuals here with me today at the beautiful Latin Art Center. Amazing and spectacular view. And it's an honor for me to have uh, Emily RJ here of Inglewood and uh, the Honorable Minister of Culture, Minister Leila here. Now, Minister, I have a question for you. This is our Border Culture Days. Mm -hmm. So I have some questions. What are some of the things that define our culture? The beautiful thing about Alberta is actually how many cultures that are here. And if you look back into the history of Alberta, so many of the people aside from our First Nations that have been here for thousands of years before us, who traded, played, loved, and worked in these areas. As more people came to this province, you can see the impact of so many different people. We had the very first mosque built just in Edmonton, built by our very first Islamic families that came here from Lebanon and the Ukrainians who built that place of worship together. We have Amber Valley, where the very first black Americans came here seeking refuge from the United States and built an entire community based on their love of each other. And they had baseball teams that played against each other and really grew those communities together. There's so much history there. We look at so many of the cultures that have contributed widely and it, there's just this incredible tapestry that has been created in this province because of the cultures and how they interact. And as you know, Lanre, with all of the uh, wonderful opportunities that you bring, color, the food, the dancing, the interactions, how we learn about each other and how we build better communities. So you've been having an amazing time going from different you know, locations in Alberta. So what are those unique things that, is, that are interesting <laughs> about our border culture days? Yeah, so every single community, it seems, has a really incredible speciality or things that they're super proud of. They have gems, sort of, whether those are people or unique sculptures or particular backgrounds or, you know, scenery within each of them. And it would take me a day to describe so many of the things. But, um, for example, if you go to um, the Ukrainian village, for example, they show you some of the very very, very first the uh, communities that were built here coming from Europe and settling here and working with the First Nations especially to build their communities or if you go into places like even within Millerville the historical pieces I don't know RJ do you want to talk a little bit more about that because there's so much here I mean the, the Leighton Center has been here where, where they're celebrating over a hundred years here aren't they uh, yeah of, of history and Mr. Leighton himself traversed these mountains and would sit in the middle of a mountain scene and paint there at a time when light changes like that, weather changes like that. These are gems. Uh, we were just in um, in uh, Cochrane meeting with people who do brass structures and stonework and carving of wood and then with the First Nations as well too with the Stony Dakota. I mean, honestly, Lanre, I could go on and on and on. I mean, we meet with so many beautiful, beautiful cultures and organizations and there's just so many I could talk about. I mean, you and I have done the ethnic community work together and have I mean, you you taught me how to make jollof and so many things from your background, and I just feel so full all the time. <laughs> so, uh, Emily Arugi, uh, what more can we do as a province in our position of our diversity? Well, I, I think it's, you know, when it comes to diversity, I think it, it really is about um, talking about our culture and, and bringing that. Like like um, Minister Hill was saying, it's time that we continue to embrace and be able to talk more and connect more. And I think coming out uh, AB Culture Days is a chance for us to showcase the diversity and talk about that and also bring it back. Alberta's young, 115 years, but in a lot of ways, yeah, once we bring it together see, through yeah, AB Culture yeah. Days, we find out how connected yeah. we really are. And with that, we find out that common ground, and, and that is going to be able to help yeah, with the diversity of our, our, our province. But the last minute, Minister, what good message do you have for Alberta as we celebrate this Culture Day? That this is our <laughs> connection. <laughs> that we are united through the things that make us beautiful and different and unique. Those uniquenesses are not reasons to separate. They're not reasons to find um, what we don't have in common. They're actually those common threads that we find. And then the uniquenesses and the differences about us are the things that we learn that help us to grow not only who we are personally, but within yeah. our communities and our love and understanding of people. And Alberta Culture Days is uniquely yeah, positioned no, that way. We're one of the few places the in the country that really, really spends a lot of time and energy doing this. And the reason is, is because we know 
this province would not exist if it was not for the different cultural groups that have made their homes here, who have plowed very difficult earth, who have worked so hard together in communities, communities that may never have ever met before if they hadn't been here in Alberta. So we all bleed it inside. It's part of our DNA, whether you arrived yesterday or whether you've been here for a thousand years. We're connected by something so much bigger, it's very hard to put our fingers on it. That's amazing. We are connected by so much, something bigger than all of us. Thank you very much, Mr. and Emily. Thank you very much.